Hey everyone, welcome to FA Channel. This channel is all about celebrating our technology and creativity. Every week we're posting new videos about virtual experience and some fun, playful experiments. Before I start, I want, I want to talk about this one news that the Avatar Museum we we went to visit and it already happened a second time. They will host an event especially focusing on uh, showcasing Avatar's clothes and accessories. So right now they're asking creators to submit their work. If you're interested, please go take a look. Maybe you can submit the, some, the, some Avatar clothes that you've been making. It'll be fun to see your work at the event and yeah we'll put the information on our video description and please go take a look and in today's video i want to talk about this really educational interesting event that happening on cluster right now called virtual japan pavilion this event is happening until march 23rd it is a very cool event that talk about everything environmental issues if you never heard about Cluster, it is a, it's a virtual reality platform in Japan and mostly it's written in Japanese. But we have made a video of how you can use this platform. And for this event, it's pretty international. It's on an international scale. All the contents there are, they have English and Japanese of both languages. So I think it's a great event if you are interested in environmental issue, even though you're not. I still find it very inspiring to go to because for me like this this event is virtual it's like a virtual event and they build the center like a big greenhouse like waterfall you can feel that you're in maybe because their idea is to imagining the 2050 that Japan will become carbon free society and make every single person aware about environmental issue and then it's supported and organized by the Ministry of Environment of Japan. So it's kind of government organized um, big event. In this event, there are basically five sections. For example, they have sections about how to reduce greenhouse gases. What are the new technologies and the big changes that are happening by some big companies in Japan to change the lifestyle of individuals. For example, there is no label. They're trying to have no label on the water bottle and some drink bottle. I remember when I was in Japan, like you throw garbage of a water bottle, you have to separate the label with the plastic bottle and then wash it and separate to different bags. So the fact that they want to make it label-less, it will change the way. It will make it much easier for people to throw the garbage and it will be very like environmental friendly. So little things like that, they will have five, five sections to give you a really good idea about what's happening right now that could change the future for our for our life and i can totally feel the energy of the futuristic japan and gives a lot of hope for people to live in a, like green environmental like carbon free kind of lifestyle and they also have some uh, supporting activities that's showing what kind of projects are happening right now to make this future become true as soon as possible. I think their goal is the 2050 and then you, you, you feel like you're in that period of time in the virtual reality world. And then I think it's really good for educational purpose, but it also is inspiring and artistic at the same time because the navigation and the, uh, the space that you're, you're surrounded, you're in, this, this virtual event, it's like very well organized and very futuristic. So what will show you how it is like inside the, the space and we can go through the event. So some, some part I find it really interesting. And with the cluster app, you can also just visit with your desktop or phone. It would be, it's actually very easy, easy to access. Okay, transition, everyone's in this let's go ghg reduction where are you oh. <laughs> okay let's go wow 
Wow! Power of nature, such as power of the sun, wind, and water. Convert it directly into energy. Innovation that produces environmentally friendly, clean energy that is safe, reliable, and abundant. Feel like going to like a conference. <laughs> yeah, but it's very cool. Okay, right. They usually do this in a real event. Okay. Yes. I, I saw that. They're talking about this is about car, I think. Transportation system. Mm hmm. Contribution to climate change adoptions by introducing a micro roads adopting the typhoon proof wind wow micro green system yeah i think that's what we're talking about <laughs> Useful <laughs> energy transition technology doomed towards carbon neutral society. Uh, for more development, more contribution. Technology, achieve carbon neutral society. Wow. Right, I feel so good. Hope for the future. Wow. <laughs> Voting offshore wind power generation. Generator. Huh? Generation. Whoa, fuel cell track. When we combine our individual efforts can become a tremendous collective force. This innovation will bring about carbon free societies do simple changes in our day to day behavior. Wow, big bottle. Right, this is all like 3D model. Hmm. I think we save a lot of money to do this kind of event. And they attract a lot of young people. So yeah, I feel like I really learned a lot from this event. Because if we're not like consciously know a lot of things about environmental issues we're not gonna actively go google it and try to learn all this knowledge especially for some young kids i think this way you are inspired to go to you're not forced to learn all this all this knowledge and like they said the future is depending on every individual's awareness and the actions that each person really matters uh, to be able to achieve the result and i really like how a lot of Japanese events is with the new technology and with uh, virtuality, augmented reality, are combining a lot of like traditional format or educational issue that's supposed to sound very serious, but when you combine a new technology like VR and AR, it makes it more interactive and fun to be engaged with. For example, the other day we come upon this one 
sculpture museum. They ask creator to make real sculpture, but at the same time, sculpture museum is happening remotely. So people can see the sculpture from the augmented reality app. And then you will make you understand more about this traditional format with a new technology. So I, I really think this virtual reality and AR is not just about business or entertainment. It really helps a lot with educational purpose, especially when you when you come to building awareness. So yeah, please go take a look until March 23rd. The event is still going on. And uh, if you have any problem logging to it or uh, you don't know how to use the you don't know how to use the cluster app please visit our other videos let us know how you feel about this event i hope you're enjoying it and yeah that's it for today's video please subscribe our channel for new updates i'll see you in the next video bye